What's up everyone? This is Todd Hazleton with Techno Buffalo. Today we have a very exciting day despite the hurricane that's raging outside. It's Windows Phone 8X. This is from HTC. It's big Windows Phone day. There's nothing to see on the box, but let's unbox it. Anyway, so big day for Microsoft. They're discussing today Windows Phone 8. This is the 8X, one of the flagship devices that will launch. Here's what's in the box. You've got the charger, uh, a set of headphones, standard HTC fare, and then the wall mount there. But let's power up the device because that's where it gets exciting, right? Okay, so here we are. You can see the front face here. That's a 4.3 inch display. Uh, it's Gorilla Glass 2. On the back, you've got an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash. Here's the micro SIM uh, port. It just sort of, you could pop it out with a nail, but you can also just uh, tap something in like a pin, pop it out. Volume keys here. They lay really flush with the surface of the phone. You can actually see that they're, it's really hard to see even from the angles. Uh, there you go. On the other versions of this phone, it'll launch in a neon yellow, a red, and a blue, too. Those are the same color as the body, so it's always kind of uh, buried like that. Here's the camera, quick launch key, just hold that down. Micro USB charger on the bottom. Beats Audio, of course, you've got a little speaker grill here. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top. Front facing camera, that is a wide angle lens. It's a 2.1 megapixel camera, can also record uh, 1080p video and then of course you've got the the grill there and the windows buttons here let's get it powered on you can see it's already attracting fingerprints it has been so this is already powered up I already set it up because otherwise you guys would be sitting here watching me just sort of log in everything so okay so that just showed it's Sunday uh, I'm filming this video in advance of the storm tomorrow in case my electricity goes out in any case here you go uh, this is the new home screen that was uh, a funny picture of me so in any case you can now resize any widget on the home screen. So let's say we want the New York Times one to be bigger. We can just pop it out like that and leave it. Of course, we can also make it small. Now, same goes for these larger widgets up top, so or live tiles, I should say. You can push that in, or you can even make it smaller. So in the space where you had four logos or four apps before, say, or one app before, you can now have four or more than that. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the screen that this takes up. So there you go. And now if we wanted, we could take more real estate of everything. So that's what's awesome about Windows Phone 8 from the get-go is that it's much faster. This has a 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon S4 processor and it's highly customizable. We'll go through here. You can see it's the same as before the menu, but there are a couple new things here. Music and video is now instead of Zune. Microsoft has already done that. Um, Office, of course, and OneNote, uh, great applications for syncing and staying in sync up to the cloud, uh, storing with the cloud. And Store now. So before it was called the Windows Phone Marketplace, now it's the Store. You can go through here, same apps that you've seen before, right? So I haven't seen much new here in terms of like we don't have Instagram right now uh, yet, or uh, some of the games are kind of meh in my opinion. I'm hoping now that we have much more powerful processors on board and we have dual core support in Windows Phone 8 that we actually get uh, those apps that we've been looking for uh, for a long time. In any case, so what you'd expect here, let's dig back into settings now. Okay, so here, whoops, went to emails and accounts. Of course, that's the same as before for the most part. Now you can change the color of the home screen. So if we wanted to say go with this bright red color, well actually that's an older color. So let's uh, let's show you, I don't know, this lime green one. Or even this olive. Go to the home screen, you see it's all brand new. Here, let's get this one back out because I like it big. It's all olive, quick color change. You can also of course change light and black backgrounds, but those are still the only two colors. Let's see, or hues I should say. While it's new, um, I actually don't want to show too much because I have my own card set up on here, but here, in any case, if you have, uh, say, a debit card or anything you want, it'll add that if it's ever been stored or used to purchase anything uh, from Microsoft, but you can also add um, your own cards, so let's see, or a deal name, okay, so this is if you had like a, a deal nearby and you wanted to make sure you take advantage of it, you would just manually enter it. So Blockbuster Delta, this isn't actually working properly right now. Um, and I'm not sure why. It says open app Delta Miles. Um, there's not one yet. And actually, when I was trying to do this earlier, it kept adding information from a bank account instead of Delta. So I'm assuming Microsoft will address this today, or Monday rather, and go over everything more detail and release the apps that, that work with this. But right now, uh, it's not fully functional. So let's get to the camera. 
Now you don't want just a shot of my table. Here's the uh, a remote. So we'll take a picture. 8 megapixel camera. Now by default I believe it goes to 5 and that's just to get the right I put it on 8 earlier. Okay, it goes to 6 by default so it sort of takes up all of the real estate of your screen. Um, unlike the 1X, you don't get the rapid fire. I mean it's pretty quick but it's still kind of trying to save unlike the 1X where you're like bam 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 rapid fire mode. Um, other features here you can change of course the effects uh, that allows you to go sepia or grayscale. Uh, you've also got the resolution that I already showed you. Contrast, saturation, sharpness, the ISO, and face detection. Uh, pretty good camera. I just find that the iPhone 5's camera took much better shots in a lot of scenarios, especially uh, late at night, out on, on the streets, the lamps, uh, all had this weird glow to them from the 1X, or from the Windows Phone 8X rather, as opposed to the iPhone 5 where it was just more natural and the colors looked a lot better. Um, so in people now, there are rooms. So before you've always had what's new, recent, you know, everything like that. Uh, you can see I talked to my mom. She's concerned about the storm. So now we have what's called the family room or buddies. You can add your own. So you have your chat. Now I don't have any more Windows Phone 8 devices, so I actually can't uh, talk about too much of how this works because I just can't test it until we get more. But then you have a calendar so everybody can share the same calendar. Uh, you've got photos, you can just upload a photo so that everybody, or a video, so everybody uh, can see them in your group. Uh, shopping, this one's pretty cool. Notes, so say you gotta go uh, go get milk, eggs, and bread for mom. Uh, let's make sure that shows, there you go, the screen's pretty bright. Or you can uh, create a new note, you know, hi, whatever. And that of course stays in sync, because it's one note, it stays in sync with your SkyDrive. So just the members, chat, calendar, notes, Really cool uh, new feature. I hope this takes off. Uh, of course, you have to have a Windows phone for it to, to work properly. In any case, that is a very quick look and an unboxing. Uh, stay tuned for much more. I also have my full review of this phone up on the site today. It's the Windows Phone 8X. This is the international version from HTC. I will be reviewing, or we will at Techno Buffalo, the AT&T, uh, T-Mobile, and Verizon versions of this phone. And uh, you'll expect LTE there. Right now, I just have HSPA uh, here in the city from AT&T. Uh, what else can I tell you about it real quick? One gig of RAM, 16 gigs of storage. Uh, we talked about this briefly. This 2.1 megapixel camera is really cool. It's front-facing, and it has an 88-degree uh, viewing angle. So that means you can fit more of a landscape or whatever you're taking a picture of into the photo. And it's really neat. It's only 2.1 megapixels, but uh, useful if you're in, you know just hanging out and you want to take a shot of everybody. Um, even at an arm's length, you could fit much more than two or three people. Uh, really cool. So I'll show you that in the review, um, and you'll, you can read the text online on the site. This is Todd Hazelton with Techno Buffalo.